It seems like a great time to be a SoFi investor, especially after hearing all the positive notes from Anthony Noto. Around March 1st, SoFi stock was valued at $11.20 after trading hours, still giving a buying opportunity for all investors out there, in our opinion. At the time of recording this, it's still around $11 to $12 per share. In today's video, we'll go over some of the most important points that SoFi CEO Anthony Noto and SoFi CFO Chris LaPointe talked about during the Q4 earnings call. Watch until the end of this video as you don't want to miss this. Hello and welcome to Wealth Gambit. On this channel, we cover the latest SoFi news, whether it's quarterly earnings or fundamental analysis, we cover it all here. If you happen to like SoFi, like and subscribe, and don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you'll be updated as soon as we drop a new video. We recently made a SoFi Investor Facebook group. Feel free to join us there along with some other SoFi investors. Shout out to all of you who commented God Mode Acquisition on our SoFi Acquires Technicist video. We appreciate you all for commenting. Just a disclaimer, we're not financial advisors and this isn't financial advice, so always do your own due diligence. Bringing in a total of 3.5 million members, an 87% increase year over year is surely one of the manifestations kicking in from a lot of great plans taking effect in this quarter. Not disappointed and not surprised. In fact, we know there's a lot more potential to be unlocked in the up and coming years. The goal is to become a household brand and Captain Noto makes sure they're going to be leading the fintech space as they work on their one-stop shop dream by making tons of products, keeping five-star relationships with their clients, all on top of their top tier tech segment. Galileo, Pagaya, and Technicis. Total products are up by 105%, stacking up to 5.2 million from just 2.5 million products at the same point in 2020. Most of it is coming from the segment of financial services where you find the dopest products all in one app. 4.1 million products in this segment, totaling to 155% increase, are partnered with yet another 18% growth in the lending segment as well. If the Krusty Krab has the Krabby Patty and its secret formula, then SoFi has Galileo as its secret weapon. Galileo reached about 100 million accounts in Q4 2021. It's a 67% increase compared to just 60 million accounts last year. If you still think SoFi is a good price to buy right now, then comment, still buying SoFi in the comment section down below and we'll shout you out in an up and coming post. SoFi just got the ball rolling. After the bank charter approval and a lot of sustainable investments in marketing and technologies, SoFi managed to hit about $984.9 million gap net revenue for full year 2021, noting a 74% increase from last year. Doing the math with adjustments, over $1 billion is recorded for SoFi's adjusted net revenue. And for the sixth consecutive quarter, SoFi recorded another increase in adjusted EBITDA, making space for the first annual positive increase of EBITDA, totaling up to $30 million in full year 2021. Compared to last year, this is about a 167.8% increase. So you'd say that all the losses are making sense now when the snapshot of short-term operational efficiency are showing up damn good figures. Now to what we waited for for so long, the SoFi Bank. A lot of you know that we just got the most awaited catalyst back in January this year, when the OCC announced that SoFi now has the key to crush the competition and disrupt the industry. Okay, just kidding. The OCC just approved the bank charter approval and the disrupting lies on SoFi. How soon will that be though? On to the 2022 guidance. Captain Noto and his right-hand man, Chris LaPointe, presented some things that might be celebrated these coming months. SoFi had given a Q1 2022 guidance of $280 million to $285 million adjusted net revenue and an adjusted EBITDA between $0 to $5 million, representing an increase of about 32% and 25% from their Q1 2021 reported adjusted net revenue and adjusted EBITDA. Turning it over to Chris to talk the results, I wanted to share a few additional thoughts. In February, I celebrated my fourth anniversary as the CEO of SoFi. While I could not be more proud of all we've accomplished in such a short period of time, I am even more excited about what's ahead of us. We are just starting to reap the benefits from the enormous progress we have made on our strategic position, the breadth of our differentiated and diversified product suite, our tech platform that helps us serve the industry as we build the AWS of FinTech, our balance sheet of $4.7 billion in equity value, the exponential growth for our brand awareness, and of course, most importantly, our team. Uh, the road to this point at SoFi has had its share of unexpected twists and turns. And every single time, our team has shown the grit, the perseverance, and cohesion to navigate through the fog of uncertainty to achieve our goals and come out stronger. Not only have we managed to exceed our already ambitious goals, we've accomplished more in one year than most companies achieve in their lifetime. As we've turned the page on 2021, 2022 has started off with an even more volatile environment with greater uncertainty. The fog of uncertainty excites me. 
It creates the greatest opportunities for those who dare to win. It's when leadership matters most because it's when the winners who will take the most are decided. I love our team. I love our strategy. I love our company. And I love where I work. I wake up every day trying to be a better leader than the day before and reminding myself that who dares wins. For the first time in four years, I also wake up every day knowing the only thing between us and realizing our ambitions is us. I would take that setup any day of the week and twice on Sundays. Thank you for your time today and we look forward to addressing you next quarter when we report Q1 results. SoFi is gearing up to be the ultimate one-stop shop that everybody needs and its strong quarterly results are showing it off. Things might be a little off in its stock price right now. Rocket ships use more than 50% of its fuel to take off. We're pretty sure the same thing goes with SoFi. And in our opinion, it's not going to take a long while before SoFi investors take off. That wraps up today's video, guys. What do you think about SoFi's Q4 earnings? Do you still have enough cash to increase your SoFi positions? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't already, follow us on our social media platforms for some latest news and dank financial memes at Wealthgambit. Until next time, peace.